My parents studied in state syllabus schools. To study in CBC schools, you have to invest so much money. They were helpless. Their families those days didn't bother to do that. They decided my kids will study in CBC school only. Their sweet revenge. How sweet. Getting married, having children, 90 years passing. It's time to admit the kid. Interviewer showing the pictures of some fruits and animals and asking you to name them. You answered everything. Interviewer said, you are great. Maybe the same thing he says to every other kid. Kid, you are brilliant. You are gonna get first rank from now on. Your parents decided. How sweet. Expectations. Your parents couldn't get that, so they expect you to get it. Moreover, it's not like there are. This time, they're investing so much on you. During their times, nobody invested on them. So it's okay if they didn't study. But now, as they are investing so much, we cannot betray them. We have to be sincere. We have to be grateful. We have to fulfill their expectations. We have to make them proud. They're not asking much. Just this. Just study. Score well. How sweet. How simple. Nobody is even realizing that they are being a pressure cooker who keeps on whistling every once in a while, study, study. Nobody is realizing the pressure a student is going through. Nobody is realizing the mental health issues they are undergoing. Life goes on and you reach class 10. You do all those everyday assignments and homeworks just in case if that can help you boost your score. Ever since that day, your teachers will talk about board exams. Your parents will talk about scoring full A1. Your relatives hope that you'll score well because as by your parents boasting, you're brilliant. Only you know how much of a struggle you are going through. The term full A1 becomes a nightmare to you. Every once in a while, the people around keeps on reminding you. You forget your happiness. You wanted a sweet 16, but it's gonna become a sore one. You don't even get time to notice someone else, to fall in love. Life is becoming tight. And on the day of board exam, you know that you are well prepared, but not that well prepared to score full A1. You feel sorry for your parents who are still hoping it. So you want miracle in your life. You pray to all the gods you know that the question paper should be filled with the questions you know. It shouldn't contain questions from the portion you skipped. You write exam. You do old chants and mantras you know that those teachers are gonna check your answers. They shouldn't see your mistakes. They should just put full marks for everything. Exams go on and it comes to an end. That last day. You rush back to your bed because you have to sleep for a whole week in order to gain the sleep you missed. But still you see parents around you are bad asking how was your exam? Did you know everything? Did you skip anything? Will you get full A1? Etc. Etc. Days go on and you forget about your board exam results and all. You log into Facebook, chat with your friends and life is so happy. Soon, you'll hear rumors that CBSE 10th board exam results will be out next week, then tomorrow and finally today. As soon as you hear rumors, you go back to prayer room and devote yourself in prayer so that a magic will happen in your life. That day, you are checking the result, logging in, scrolling down, your heart is beating faster and faster. B, B, you saw the result. Oh my God, your prayers in vain. You wish you go deep down the earth so that you don't have to face the reality, but you have to. You tell them the result, but they are all disappointed because they were about to print the flux board with congrats for scoring full A1 and their dream just got shattered by you. They want to cry, they want to curse, but they sympathize you. You feel like you failed even though you just missed an A1. Next day, you see those people, those naughty kids who always played in the field, who always bunked the class, who always attended family functions. Those kids, they are in the newspaper. They got full A+. Plus. That is the time you realize you should have attended a state syllabus school. 
If you could score 9.8 or 9.6 in CBSE, you could easily score full A plus then. That was your thought. You should have shifted school right after 8th or 9th. You made a big mistake in life. But it's okay, you move on. You tell them that you will take admission in a state syllabus school. Not CBSE? No way. They don't let you. At that time, nobody invested. That story will be recited multiple times. Now you have the opportunity. So you shouldn't miss it. That's their rule. You start your 11th standard studies in a prestigious CBSE school. Your class is filled with genius people. You feel like fainting on hearing those chemistry reactions. You feel like vomiting on listening to those theories. You feel fed up with life. Everyone is reminding you about the board exam of 12th. Nobody is bothered about the beautiful 17 and 18 you are going to miss. The best season of your youth. You are missing it by messing in the textbooks only. That day, 12th board exam. Things are not easy as it was two years ago, but your parents and family think that it's all the same. But this time, you are more self-conscious. You know that if you try maximum, all you get will be a pass. And that's even difficult. Things repeat. You checked result and you passed. You feel like you won an Oscar because it wasn't easy at all. But you hear them telling that your marks are low. You also know that, but you are not sad because you expected this only. Because you are thankful that you passed for all subjects in one go for the first time during these two years. You see the newspaper next day. Your old classmates who scored very lower than you during 10th got full A+. Even that funny boy who used to fail always, he made the best decision by shifting school after 10th standard and he is also in the newspaper. You regret for the second time in your life. You sacrificed so many things, yet you did not get anything. You look back and all you can see is the shouting of your class teacher because you failed during your internal. Because your parents didn't show up for the weak students meeting. Because he caught you reading a romantic book during your physics class. All your memories are sorrowful moments. Scary moments of them trying to tease you trying to look down on you, you have no other way other than to disappear from them. You realize that you missed the very beautiful season of your youth with tension and pressure. Every time you pass that way, you think about the dark days, about the punishments and the tears you wasted, the buckets of tears you wasted, the buckets of tears you had shared on the day of your lab exam when they said you copied. That's still making you cry. The moment when they asked you to redraw the experiment figure and the moment you missed something when you drew it for the second time. When everyone else was staring at you, that's still making your blood flow faster. The emotional trauma you had been through, nobody has seen it. Nobody asked, are you okay? Nobody said, take a break. Wanna know what happened later? I joined for BTEC and I saw the guy who merely passed since LKG, who skipped a lot of classes, who attended all the functions, who went on many trips, who partied all night, who confessed his feelings, who totally enjoyed his every moment. This guy was in the same class as mine. I studied so hard since LKG. I scored full most of the times. I was in top 5 many times and I cried if I missed it. I was trying harder and harder each year. I sacrificed so many things in life. Still, I missed full A1. I missed good scores and I just entered up in a common course. If this was where I would end up, I shouldn't have tried this much from the beginning. I should have enjoyed my time. I should have went out, partied, skipped classes, have so much fun. I missed so many things in life and I wish if there was a go back button or reset button in life. But unfortunately in life, in real life, it's impossible. Time is something you cannot catch up with, you cannot get back with. Time flies. After all this, what did you gain? That question is making me sad. 
but somehow we all learn to move on and this is life